Hey guys, I'm back with a new video today showing you the ultimate machine template for Cubase uh, 8. And this is the second version of the template I have made. And there's the basic reason why I made a new template is because machine 2 is now updated to version 2.2.1. And in this version, they have fixed the MIDI feedback loop that we all had problems with in Cubase. So now you don't need the workaround anymore. You don't need an extra group or an extra kit to send MIDI into Cubase. Basically, you just need a regular kit with uh, sounds. So that's the, that's the first thing. And the second thing was that in the previous videos, I I didn't actually know how to have multiple instances of machine uh, in Cubase. Now I do. And as you can see, I have 16 instances of machine. And if you want to switch between them on the machine hardware, uh, you have to hold the shift button and press the instance button. And then you will have a menu with all of the 16 instances of machine that you have loaded up in Cubase. So you can scroll down and choose the correct one. Okay, so the main advantage of using uh, this template with machine and Cubase is that you can record each sound in a group in machine to a separate track in Cubase. Not only that, but you can also filter out everything on this track, uh, except uh, in this case the kick. So I can show you how this works really quick. I have shown you how this works in previous videos, but anyway. So that's, that was just a quick uh, demonstration. Uh, so. Now I have recorded the kick on the first track, the snare on the second track, and the hi-hat on the third track. And if I open uh, the events, you can see that the kick is on the first track. And that was only the kick, nothing else, just a kick. And on the second track, we have the snare, and that's all we have on this track. And we have the hi-hat on the third track. So everything is um, separated on each track in Cubase. And the reason for this is because we have set up the input transformer to filter out everything except the sound we want. And the sound we want is sound one on track one, sound two on track two, sound three on track three, and so on. So this sound goes to this track this sound goes to that track and the third sound goes to the third sound and so on so it's quite logical really um, and everything is tested really well so that uh, you shouldn't really have any problems with understanding intuitively how this works when you open the template okay so when you first open the template you can see that in the uh, rack list you have 16 instances of machine to load it and the reason why i did this is because each instance has 16 outputs and you can't really get any more than 16 outputs on one uh, instance of machine so if we open the mixer you can see that we have 128 outputs. So that means that every single sound in machine will be sent to a, a separate output in the mixer. Also, if we open up the first instance of machine, you can see that everything is orange. That's also the case for the MIDI tracks in Cubase. So it's easy to see that um, these tracks belongs to these sounds. Also, if we open the mixer again, it, you will understand that uh, the first 16 outputs is assigned to the first instance of machine because everything is orange here, everything is orange here. And if we open uh, machine, 
everything is orange. So it's quite logical. And if we open, for example, uh, the 11th instance of machine, everything is purple. So I can scroll down and find what's purple. So these tracks belong to these sounds. And we can easily find them in the mixer by just scrolling to the correct color. And some of the colors may be similar, so it can be wise just to check the number. And you can see that here we have uh, kit 11 and sound 1. So these tracks are assigned to the 11th instance of machine. So what you get now is 128 single uh, or respective outputs for each uh, instance of machine in Cubase. It's also uh, really important to tell you this, that <laughs> when you load up uh, the template, you are probably not going to get any sound. And the reason for that is because I have disabled uh, all of the 16 machine instances just to conserve CPU power. You might not need all of the all of the instances, so you can just activate it as you go. Just click on the uh, activate instrument button, uh, and when you do that, and you record and record enable the tracks you want to record to, you can see that you will get uh, MIDI input on the tracks, and you are ready to record. Also, I might have a, a different sound card than you do. So it's probably wise to check the uh, that the uh, sound card is set up correctly. If I can just bring up the... Uh, hold on. There we go. Um, I'm using a uh, TC Electronics Connect 8 sound card. So just go into the, uh, what's it called again now? Uh, the um, VST connections, yes. VST connections window. And just check and see that everything is set up correctly here. So if you have done that, if you've activated an instrument and uh, made sure that your sound card is set up correctly, then you should be ready to go. I know that a lot of you like to use the, the browser in machine to the left side here. Uh, and if I want to, let's say I find a kit I want to use uh, and I double click it, you can see that first of all, the colors changes, but not only the colors, also the settings, the input output settings in machine will change. So first of all, you won't get any, as you can see here, you won't get any MIDI signal. You will hear the sound, but you won't get any MIDI, MIDI signal. Uh, also, if I load up the mixer, you can see that every everything goes into one output. And that's not what we want, is it? We want it to go to a separate output. So I'll show you how you can fix it if you insist on using the machine browser. First of all, select all of the sounds in the group. Uh, click on this little button if you haven't already done it. Go to Output, set the destination to Host, the channel to Channel 1, and that's because we're using the first instance of Channel 2. Um, if you want to use the second instance, it should be Channel 2. But for this instance, we will use Channel 1, and now we have to uh, transpose all of the sounds. They won't be uh, audible transposed, just uh, theoretical transposed. Anyway, right click the group, go to group MIDI batch setup and sounds to MIDI notes. Go to input, deactivate MIDI through. And now you have to go to output again and audio 
and if you want to assign each sound to a separate output in the mixer, click on the first sound, set it to external 1, go to the second sound, set it to external 2, and then the third sound, external 3, 4, external 4, 5, external 5, and so on. Okay, so if I open the mixer now, you can see that instead of having everything on the first channel, we have each sound on a separate channel. Now I know some of you have asked, uh, how can I use the pad mode in this template? If you want to use the pad mode, I assume that you want to record keys or a synth or uh, basically like keyboard elements in, in machine. If you want to do that, there is the only way you have, you can do it in this template is to add an instrument track and choose the VST massive for in, uh, for example and then just record with your keyboard or uh, turn the machine into midi mode and record okay so let's say you have worked on a project for uh, a couple of hours and you have a lot of a lot of information here, you have recorded uh, a lot of events and you don't want to lose it, so you're saving your project and all that. But suddenly you decide, okay, this kit, I want to change it. Uh, or you want to revert it to the original state of the template. Uh, usually you would have to open the template again uh, and start all over again. but it's really easy to revert this. Let's say I want to change this, this back to the original state of the, of the template. I can just go to the down arrow, go to File, Open, and select the TUMTFC Machine 1. This is a project that I have saved for you in case you need a backup. And you can see that I have done this for all of the 16 uh, instances of machine. So since we are on the first instance, I will open machine one. And as you can see, everything is set up uh, just the way it was to begin with. Uh, so you can load a new kit or you can build a kit from scratch. So that's it for the video really. Just remember these three things. The first one, remember to turn on the VST when you open the template or else you won't have any sound at all. And the second thing, if you load a, a default kit in machine, remember to uh, set, up, set up the routing as I described earlier or else it won't work. Um, and the third thing, if you want to record in pad mode, please use the instrument track instead because pad mode doesn't work in this template. All right, so until next time, have a great time and take care.